This is the video walkthrough for Mr. Robot. So after doing a net discover and identifying the IP address where this VM is running on your system, what you'll notice is port 22 is closed, but we do have a port 80 and port 443. Now, Nick2 gives some really good information here. Um, I just use Sparta to basically run Nick2, and we can see that there's a vulnerability related to um, Apache in the mod negotiation to reveal more information, but actually there is a better one that Nick2 reveals on port 443 which is that we have WordPress running. So with that in mind, we want to go ahead and run uh, WP scan and see if we can find any vulnerabilities that way. So when you first come to this page, you're going to see just how much detail was put into setting up this VM. I really like uh, how this is done and giving that old terminal feel Another interesting thing is this, this whole JavaScript interaction can actually take uh, more commands at the prompt, so you can do any of these keywords and either a video will play or some uh, additional images, and uh, so it, it's, it's done quite well. I used Burp Suite to spider and discover content on the site. I did see a robots.txt, which is an easy target to go after. Uh, went to that, and inside of that file, it actually references uh, another file called um, fsociety.dic. So I was hoping that it was a dictionary word list, and it certainly uh, was. So I downloaded that and started using that um, for the next step. Uh, the other thing that was in the robots.txt was a key file, or one of the first flags. And so you can just cat on that and uh, be able to, to see the uh, MD, MD5 hash. So in order to continue the brute forcing or enumeration of WordPress, you really need to um, find out you know, the structure of that. And so uh, with some brute forcing, you're able to do that as well. I did it through, through Burps. Now the WP scan results that came back uh, did identify some plugins. I did spend some time looking at these. I actually tried to do one of the exploits for something called Jetpack and uh, spend some time there, but um, I couldn't, uh, couldn't quite get the SQL map injection to, to work properly for me to exploit. So I had to figure out a different way in. So I don't really watch the show, so I kind of needed some help. One of the main character names in the show is Elliot Alderson, and so also I noticed Elliot was one of the words that was in the word list, so um, trying that at the login prompt of the WordPress login page, you actually get a very nice message that says that the password was wrong, but the username is right. So that is a real lift. We can use that information then to go ahead and try to brute force the password using our uh, WP scan. So using that login information for Elliot, um, you are able to come into the dashboard and basically it's the same as being an admin. Now at this point I've used uh, this particular exploit before where uh, I've modified the 404 page and put in a reverse shell uh, PHP code there. And so um, I was able to save that. So that made it super easy. Basically what I do is I just take that PHP reverse shell from Kali Linux and I just pasted it in the 404 template. So then I just browse to a page that doesn't exist. I've got my Netcat listener listening on my attacker machine and then I get, uh, I get back my shell. Now in this case I'm running as daemon, 
Uh, so I CD into the home directory to, to see what other directories exist. I see one called robot. Immediately I'm going to uh, take a look at what is in there. So unfortunately, in order to see the key that's in that home robot directory, I need to become robot. So uh, I am able to cat the password MD5. And from there, you can see that it looks like whatever that hash is, is the password. I just went ahead and just plopped that right into google.com and it came back with the alphabet. So that's the password. Um, pretty easy from there. Uh, I did actually change the the shell itself to, to have a better shell. Uh, and then I was able to uh, SU as robot without any problem. From there, you can go ahead and get your second flag and cat out uh, that key two of three. Now the next step of where I usually go from here to try to get root is I take a look at the operating system, the kernel level. So I can see it's Ubuntu, it's 14.04. I've seen this one before. Um, so I try my regular um, overlay FS vulnerability. And so bringing that over and compiling that and then trying to run that unfortunately did not pay dirt for me this time, so I wasn't able to actually get root. So apparently though, there is some old version of nmap that has a flaw in it, and if you do the TacTac -tac interactive to nmap, at the prompt, if you give it a bang sh, it will actually then plop you right into a root shell. So at that point, I just CD'd into uh, the root directory where I then saw that I had my, my third flag available. So I just catted that and, uh, and that's the last flag. This VM was really nice. I think Jason did a really nice job and um, was a lot of fun. So thank you very much.